another year and medical marijuana is still not an option for seven-year-old Colton Eggers who battles severe epilepsy. He uh you know, does still continue to experience quite a few seizures. We were with his mother, Krista, a year ago. When she got the news, medical cannabis was barred from the ballot even after garnering more than 190,000 signatures. Oh, no! No! The Nebraska Supreme Court ruled the initiative violated the state's single subject rule. It's very frustrating. Um, you know, devastating. I can think of many words. She says their coalition of other families, patients, and state senators poured over the court ruling, now introducing two statutory petitions. One provides protection for patients, doctors, and caregivers. The other addresses how businesses will be set up. The main goal has been to make sure that our language is able to withstand any opposition. Former state senator John Keene is with smart alternatives to marijuana. Whether they call it uh, medical or not, whether they choose to pursue a statutory or constitutional route, it ultimately is about creating an industry for legalization and commercialization of, of marijuana. He believes medical marijuana should be approved like other drugs through the FDA. Eggers disagrees and is confident they can get the 250,000 signatures needed to place the petitions on the ballot. My little boy is counting on me. He's counting on you. Um, he's counting on the people of this state to make a stand and say this is important and suffering, the needless suffering that continues to go on is not okay. Andrew Ozaki, KETV, Newswatch 7.